Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Artwork by Mary, and that's spelled M-A-R-I. Glad you could join. I'm going to do something a little different this morning. I'm going to do an unboxing because I bought a couple of sets um, by Winsor Newton, the Cotman series, which technically is supposed to be a student-grade watercolor set. However, um, some of the people that I follow on YouTube that I really respect their art um, have reviewed these and have pretty much said that they're really a pretty high quality watercolor set that compares with a lot of others out on the market for not as quite not quite as much money. So I thought I'd try a couple of sets and then whichever set that um, doesn't suit me, I probably will gift to my niece who is a fabulous artist. Anyway, uh, the box that I'm displaying these in, I bought for $3 at a um, yard sale type deal and it's actually a cigar box but I just love the curved shape of it you can actually find these on eBay so if you're interested I love to um, convert boxes to um, watercolor storage and also regular paint color storage so I will do that on another time on another video and lastly this set up here top I will walk you through what I have going on here this is a gouache set that I put together and sort of mixed myself or not really mixed but placed the colors together in different combinations and I'll explain to you why I did that so first let's do the small set this is again Winsor Newton Cotman watercolor series and I can take you through the different colors that they have you see that the box is actually very compact and small compared to my hand size. So really good for traveling. Um, to open it, you just have to make sure you secure the bottom half to get the top half to come up. So just a tip there. It does come with a brush that is pretty useless other than for super fine detail. So I would recommend um, replacing that brush with a nice sable haired brush that you um, can buy that still will fit in this set because this is so tiny and on another YouTube video I hope to actually use these sets to take you through it but right now I'm going to take you through the colors starting with lemon yellow hue it's right here and then secondly is cadmium yellow hue and as I understand it the word hue means it's the color of the cadmium but not actually um, has cad cadmium in it but um, check my facts or leave me a, a comment down below if I'm wrong about that this is cadmium red hue which is a little bit more of an orangey red and then Alzerian uh, crimson which is that very true true red and it's got a little bit of a darker you know cooler color red um, ultramarine which is your basic uh, blue and sorry it's tough to read this this is a phthalo blue I'm turning it to the side because the uh, colors are written sideways and I usually don't use phthalo blue but I because I find it very intense and staining but I've been doing a lot of reading about getting more mixtures out of a, pr a simple primary palette and you really do need a a phthalo blue along with the ultramarine to give you a full um, range of colors if that's what you're interested in doing and viridian hue and that is a cool green sap green which is more of your basic green and then burnt sienna and burnt umber which is a darker brown and then chinese white sorry I went off the camera a little bit Chinese white which um, some watercolor artists don't use but since I only use watercolor mixed with gouache which is an opaque watercolor I like to have the white so that's pretty much the tour of this palette um, my one criticism of it is that it opens a little tight but it otherwise it's a great a travel set it has three mixing wells and I just looked to the bottom here to see if it had a slide out extra tray some of them do but this one doesn't and these are in case I didn't mention 
12 half pans. So this is the half pan size, and I'll pull one out so you can see. Hopefully I won't wreck it. And it'll be a little tricky to get out. Okay. I'll probably have to use a pen knife to pull these out later. But, hmm, okay. Too bad I don't edit these videos because you're gonna have to see me struggle. All right, this is what the half pan size looks like and on the bottom is the um, code for the number of the color. All right, so that is the Cotman Watercolor Skechers Pocket Box is the actual name of that set. So yeah, I got this at an AC Moore, but you can get them online if you don't have an AC Moore or a quote real art store uh, nearby. They're certainly they're certainly around. Um, a little bit pricey, but not compared to a professional color set. I believe this one was uh, $29. And then next I'm going to show you um, the set that I really think I like better as far as the construction of the box. And this is just called the Compact Set. And again, it's Cotman by Windsor Newton. But it has much more going on with the, uh, with the box. Also, each of these sets come with um, a full catalog of the paints that are available, the different colors that are available. So if you're taking a screenshot, I will pause so that you can see them all. And there goes my set. So on this one, The box is much bigger, as you can tell by how big it is in my hand, and it's actually a little large to get on screen since I have my camera pretty close, but we'll see what we can do. So ease of opening the box, mm -hmm. ease of opening the box is a little tricky. You actually have to get your nail in the bottom and pull it up. But then again, you don't want these things opening up when you don't want them to open. So. Well, maybe it's for the best. So this one comes with a longer brush. It's not a collapsible brush. But again, I still have the same issue with this brush being just too tiny and it won't hold enough water to really be useful. So I would recommend getting the Da Vinci collapsible brush, which is fantastic. I don't have it with me in my car because as some of you know who have seen some of these videos before that I've done, I am doing these videos in my car before I start work so that I can make time for artwork almost daily. So that's my strategy. What I do love about this box is that it has five mixing wells. Yes, I did have to count them because it's early in the morning and I haven't had coffee yet. Um, <clears throat> it also has a tray that pulls out and I believe it pulls out, yes, like this. So it's a little tricky to pull out, but again, pretty great that it won't fall out on its own if you're not using it. So when you pull this second mixing tray out, what's great about it is it, if you don't pull it all the way out because it can become disconnected. So if you pull it most of the way out, it has a great uh, place to hold the palette with your thumb. And it has an additional four more mixing wells. And if you were to fully disengage this palette. You would have a little more room at the top, but the problem with it is that it, it, it is not enclosed at the top, so your water would um, probably roll right out. So I probably will not be using it that way. I will most likely be using it just part of the way out. So another cool thing about this palette is this really cute little water tray. Um, my only issue with it is that it is really tiny, but again, you know, what can you do? You're you're trying to get something compact to travel with, so um, it sort of is what it is, but it fits nicely in there, and it doesn't fall out, so it's pretty great. It's very, very, very stable. So this is the construction of it. I want to make sure you can see it, and now I'm going to take you through the colors. I'm going to turn it to the side so I can read each color. It has the same lemon yellow hue that is on the set, um, the, the compact sketch box that I just went through for Cotman. Um, cadmium yellow hue. Sorry about my nails. I was using some 
paint thinner yesterday and it destroyed my manicure. Anyway, cadmium yellow hue and then cadmium red pale hue, which is sort of an orange color, and then cadmium red hue, and then alzarian crimson hue, and purple lake, which I'm happy to see a purple. I, I struggle with mixing purple sometimes, so it's good to have that there as a convenience color. Ultramarine, which is your classic blue. Cerulean blue hue, which I probably will take out of this set. You can pretty much mix cerulean blue with ultramarine and, and white, and I like to keep white in my palette, so I may remove that and replace it with the phthalo blue from this palette to customize it a little bit. And again, it has the same sap green and viridian green, so you have a warm green and a cool green, and I like the way this is set up that way, where you have a purple and a red, so you have your cool colors here, you have your warm reds, and then you have a cool red and a warm red, I'm sorry, that's yellow, a cool yellow and a warm yellow. And then I love also that it has the yellow ochre and the burnt sienna as your earth tones at the end of the palette. And then it has um, burnt umber and Chinese white. So as I said, I might make some adapt uh, adoption, adoptions, adoptions. I may adapt this palette uh, to better suit the colors that I prefer but I wanted you to see it intact. And again, these are half pans. You can buy full-size pans of these colors, but these half pans are, um, will get you started. Uh, I love this too, that the on this set, it has like a little uh, finger hole to really get these out so you can replace them or refill them. So these are the cakes or the pan pans, half pans that are already filled, but you can buy uh, tube watercolor and refill these pans. So that's pretty neat. So that is the Windsor Newton travel box. It's got a low profile and like I said, a lot bigger than the, the other set, as you can tell by the size of it against my hand compared to the other one. And this one was about $39. And if you get it at an AC more, they keep it under lock and key. Um, I guess this is a desirable item and they want to keep it safe so you may have to ask for it is why I'm mentioning that you may not see that on the shelves it is probably not sold out but just in fact under lock and key so those are the two sets I'm gonna give those a try and see what I like um, about the mixes and I may do that on another video but lastly, and more importantly, I'm going to show you something that I did. I bought a, a bunch of these watercolor, or sorry, these uh, paint pans, and it came in a case like this. They were not filled. They were empty. And I'm showing you these because they're a little bit unique. They come with the metal on the back, um, sorry, the magnet on the back, which is a great thing because I plan on also trying a metal tin. So I ordered from, I think it's called Whiskey Painters. Um, their box really looked like a great box. So when it comes, I'll do a review of it. But I wanted to have these ready to go because I really love painting in gouache. I use watercolor just to add a little extra um, color along with my gouache for ease of use, but I prefer to use an opaque paint. And the reason why I use gouache, um, especially when I'm outside plein air painting or in my car painting, um, is that it's, you know, super easy cleanup like the watercolor, but what's really the advantage is you can work dark to light or light to dark, just like you can in oils or in acrylics. You don't have to plan your painting out to go from uh, light to dark, and you don't really have to worry about painting the background first and then building up to the foreground. I like to move around when I paint, so I really find that gouache is the way to go for me. So what I did was I filled um, these with Winsor Newton gouache paints from a tube, 
and these are the little half pan sizes and they're still in the process of drying but once they are dried you can tell it's still crumbling a little bit I will clean these off and they'll be fabulous and I'll be able to put them in my um, metal set that uh, my metal box that is coming and that that way I'll be able to utilize the magnets on the back to hold them but well, I'm trying something new I haven't seen anybody else do this and maybe they have but I just thought it might be cool to put my regular set together, what came with my uh, gouache set, which is the white, uh, your typical green, your yellow, your ultramarine blue, um, your cadmium red, and even a black, which I may or may not remove, I'm not sure. Uh, I never use black, um, but since I had it, I did fill the pan. Then what I did over here is kind of more interesting. So what I did was I created pans that I thought would have the color mix that I would most often use. So I use orange quite a bit. So what I did was I took the yellow and a little bit less of the red and I filled the pan. And you can see as it dried, it created a little bit of an orange in between. But my thought is when I go to mix this, uh, it, for ease of use, this color would be my orange. But what's nice about it, instead of buying an orange, is that I like to mix my own orange so that you see some of the mixing going on when you put it um, on the um, paper. So it's not fully mixed. It just looks better. So on this one, I thought this could be my purple. So I did a half and half mixture of the red and the blue. And on this one, I thought maybe I would mix my own Payne's Gray. So that little red chip is not supposed to be in there. I will clean that out. But it's mostly white, um, about a third of the blue, and then a tiny bit of black. So I'm hoping that when I mix this together, it'll create a really nice gray color. <clears throat> and if it does, I definitely will get rid of this blue because I won't need it. And then if I'd had a brown, I would have done a um, mixture um, if I'd had actually I should have made a brown now that I'm thinking of it but anyway over here at the bottom I thought I created a uh, an, a little area where I would have a brighter green so a yellow and a little bit of the green to create a bright green so I don't have to mix it and then over here would be a darker green which is your true blue and ultramarine blue and yellow. So I use much less of the blue than the yellow. And up here, I don't know if this will work, but we'll see. I'm hoping that this will become a good um, color to use for some flesh tone. I like using white in my flesh tone. A lot of people don't. And uh, so what I do is I put mostly white, um, mostly uh, sorry, mostly white, a little bit of yellow, a little tiny corner of blue, and a little tiny corner of red. And I'm hoping when I swipe this, um, it will become a quick and easy way to get that combination of color. This way, too, it will help me with not having the need for so many mixing wells. So again, this is gouache paint, and I will review my little invention here. Um, at some point in the future but you know who knows I, I while I was doing it I was thinking wow if this works I wonder if we could talk some of the paint companies into doing uh, paints this way where you can just swipe the brush and have a simple mix without having to um, contaminate all your colors so I love the idea of just being able to contaminate the color the color pans that I want and then keeping these a little more pure so leave your comments below if you think this is a crazy idea or if you like the idea and I'll see you on another video and as always thank you very much for joining artwork by Mary I appreciate it please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video thanks so much bye